see, Rally for Rivers was a purely awareness campaign to get people's support to change the policy. So when we presented it to the government, in less than twenty-four hours, yeah, less than twenty-four hours, approximately sixteen hours after I gave it to the Prime Minister, the Prime Minister set up a special committee to look at… look at the recommendations. Then it went to Niti Aayog, which is the pl planning body. In two and a half months, they made this the official recommendation for all the twenty-nine states. Never before in the history of independent India has it happened that actually they put a private organization's name on a policy. This is the first time Rally for Rivers recommendation when it went to the states, they mentioned Isha Foundation's name, which lot of people reacted, how can they do this? But they saw the enormity of what we have done. Nobody realized, they think I'm just driving. It's not just about driving, 162 million people. I drove 9,300 kilometers, 142 events along the way, 184 interviews. The important thing is, it became a national movement. Never before in the history of humanity, not just India, in any movement in the world, 162 million people have participated. So, when they saw 162 million people are with it, so they put it through the scientific test, it took two and a half months. Once they saw it passes all of that, they adopted it as national policy. It has been sent to every state. See, this is very important in a democracy. If there is a massive people's support, government will take it seriously. So, Kaveri calling is a completely different aspect. So, you are only thinking from four wheels to two wheels, I'm coming, next time what will you do? Are you going to do bicycling, cycling or will you walk? That's a question, no. Uh, one thing is to get people's engagement, youth. Youth respond better to a motorcycle than a car. Hello? I have a very powerful motorcycle, of course people will try to make a scandal out of it, because when I drove a Mercedes G-Wagon, that's all they were talking about, a few people. So, many PR agencies advising, Sadhguru, this is a great moment, it could get spoiled because of the Mercedes, please change the car. I said, I will not change. Then a journalist come to interview me, then I asked him a simple question. Is this car legal in the country? Say, yes, sir. Now, what's your problem? <laughs> when breaking a law, you tell me. No, no, why should you drive such a big car? All right, you don't want Mercedes, what do you want me to drive? Is some other brand paying you that you're talking against Mercedes? You want me to drive a BMW? You want me to drive an Audi or a Maruti? What? Who is paying you? Uh, no, 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 not like that. I said, then shut up, huh? <laughs> so right now, if I ride this motorcycle, we will, why can't he ride a TVS moped? Why can't he cycle? The idiots who've done nothing in their lives are always giving commentary about everybody's lives, okay? So they'll give commentary, but that's okay. It's not about the motorcycle, nor was it about the car. It's about doing the right thing, it worked, right? It doesn't matter how many naysayers were there, it worked with the larger public? Yes or no? So this will also work. So nobody can simply raise something, but of course some trashy media is going to talk about my motorcycle and our suspicions about these forty-two rupees, maybe Sadhguru will eat up two rupees, <laughs> uh, all this rubbish. Uh, the idiots do not know what wealth I have, that I don't have to steal two rupees from anybody <laughs> So this is an execution project. Vagari is a full-on execution project. This is a halfway… a project between government, us and the farmers. Rally for Rivers was a purely awareness, change the policy thing. That we have done absolutely successfully. Now these two things have to succeed. This is far more difficult than that. <laughs>